testicular atrophy while being on testosterone, part of the series. All men will experience some testicular atrophy while they're on testosterone, that's for sure. Exogenous testosterone will shut down the hypothalamus pituitary gonadal axis via shutting down the two very important gonadotropins that come out of the central nervous system, LH and FSH. That will lead to the testicles to atrophy and of course fertility will be diminished. It happens on gels, it happens on creams, pellets, and of course, intermuscular or subcutaneous testosterone esters. So many people ask me if you use a gel or a cream or some combinations, will it happen less? We don't know, there's no data really on this, but I can tell you my experience that when you even touch a man with a gel or a topical type of testosterone, you see the central nervous system very sensitive and shut down and the testicles will get affected. Obviously, most men enjoy to be on intermuscular testosterone, microdosing, and they feel better, but of course, the testicles are gonna be shut down. This is a big side effect of being on testosterone, and it is the truth. There's a lot of talk about HCG. For years, maybe 20 years, looking at men taking testosterone regimens and utilizing, at the same time, HCG injections, either small IM or subcutaneously. This is a study, and there are many studies out there. Preservation of fertility in hypogonadal patient, Dr. Ramasamy, Dr. Armstrong, and Dr. Lipschultz. This is just one study of many, and they talk about utilizing HCG doses of 125 up to 500 every other day while a patient is on an ester of 200 milligrams a week of testosterone. And it's very uh, interesting that for a period of time, certainly in this study and other studies, you will maintain fertility and the testicle size won't be maintained as well. What's going on with this? I've experienced this and I've used different regimens of HCG on patients for TRT, not to mention patients with steroid recovery, that's a whole different topic here. This is for maintaining the testicles for fertility and just the feel of the testicles so they're not atrophied cosmetically and for a man's sensation, not to mention the ejaculate volume as well, using testosterone and different doses at the same time of HCG. I've seen it used and I will say that most men in the end don't maintain it and it probably doesn't work for the following reasons. Number one, many injections, many, many injections. You're injecting testosterone and over years, just keeping up with testosterone injections after 10 or 20 years, that's enough. Either once a week or twice a week, these microdosing. So, so many injections. Are you gonna keep up with, these are every other day or sometimes twice a week. You know, these are frequent, so you're injecting testosterone and now you have to inject HCG. HCG has to be reconstituted and kept refrigerated. So when you're traveling and you're with your family going on trips or for business, there's a limitation to this. You see that? These are the real logistical aspects of what I see. Down regulation. This is the biggest piece. The studies show up to a year and there's a lot of anecdotal information that you can maintain your testicular function on testosterone for the feel, but down regulation is going to kick in. There's no question. This is the bro science stuff that's really true, has to come up and be discussed. That if you're on HCG, so many men, thousands of men have told me over the course of 15 years now that, Doc, you know, you do, you take the HCG and you're going to need more and more. Testicles will just lose their sensitivity and you're going to need more and more. That's called down regulation. No studies about this. Lipschultz and these other studies up to about one year. So again, for one year, probably does work. Next, aromatization. When you're on testosterone, you're going to aromatize the androgen itself, right? 
we all know that, testosterone. When you add human chorionic gonadotropin, you're adding in a stimulation of the testicle. You're going to mix in exogenous and endogenous testosterone. You're definitely going to aromatize more. Now, if you're on small doses of HCG, is it really going to matter? I don't know. I am against adding all these drugs together. Then in the end, hey, use Arimidex, Anoshazole, Letrozole, Aromidase inhibitors. Use these to block the conversion of all this extra estrogen, shut that down. I just disagree with that. It affects the HDL, it affects the heart, men's brains. Men don't feel well on all these drugs. I've also seen testicular pain. I've seen a worsening of cysts in the testicle. Got to work with the urologist regularly. What can you do? You have to try it. You can consider it. I give every man the option to do this, and I discuss it man per man. You have to do that. Physicians are doing this more. Have to understand that. What can you do? There's been hypotheses, but there's been no studies long term using cycles of your on testosterone, HCG for a cycle, small dose, 250 to 400, two or three times a week. Come off, reset, maybe then go on HCG, come off Clomid for a short period. This is on testosterone, this is not PCT, this is maintaining testicular volume and fertility on testosterone, come off again. So cycling potentially, coming on HCG, off for a few months with, of course, TRTs the whole time, and then going on some Clomid for a period, getting off that, cycling back around HCG again. This is amazing. Some younger patients of mine that have had anabolic steroid-induced hypogonadism, and they've been shut down for life. They've been off testosterone and steroids for years. They have very low levels. They're on TRT for maintenance and quality of life. And then we've tried some of these regimens. You know, it's interesting that these men, and if you're watching now, they don't stay. It's very difficult to do this. They don't from years. Some of these men I've cared for for 10 years now. They just won't stay on these regimens. I know some men will, but I just haven't seen it to be that consistent. So in the end of the day, you have to be honest with men and you have to say when you're on testosterone, your testicles are going to shrink somewhat. But it's amazing that if you maintain your heart health, maintain your psychological health, maintain your internal medicine health, testicles can atrophy, but your sex quality of life can be phenomenal. Because if you're balanced and you're monitored closely on testosterone, you can do very, very well. But this is a risk. All men have to understand that testicles will atrophy while you're on testosterone. I really hope this helps everyone. Let's get some great comments. Guys that are on testosterone, steroids, using HCG, all sorts of regimens, let's let it out, guys. Thank you so much. I really hope this helps everyone.